This is Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to take a look at a 2021 32 BHQS Puma Palomino Travel Trailer by Forest River. It's a three-slide model. Uh, it's a pretty new floor plan for Puma. This is uh, We've had a couple of these now. Um, I have another video of a 2020. This is a 2021. No noticeable differences that I'm aware of. It is a 2021, though, so it's the most updated version of it. Y'all may see something that I've missed. Uh, but again, it's a bunkhouse. As you can see, a slide on this side, a unique floor plan, uh, 32 BHQS. So we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna start inside. We're gonna go to the front, actually first, where our master bedroom is. All right, so when you come in, um, I'll back up. You can see your doorway's there to the right. Uh, when you come in, you turn to your right, and you've got this entertainment center, then the hallway uh, to the front bath and bedroom. So going straight ahead into the master bedroom, there's a bed slide up here. That's the biggest difference in this in most bunk houses. Um, having that bed slide gives you a ton of space. That is a common complaint. Those of you that are searching for a bunkhouse floor plan, you probably noticed that by now. Uh, this is not there. You don't have floor space. You have that bed running north-south, as we call it, or the length of the trailer, and you have little space, whereas with this bed slide, there's lots of space. Uh, because of that, there's additional storage. On both sides of the bed, you can see little nightstands there. Uh, there's outlets on both sides, storage above as well. You've got storage below the bed. If I can do this with one hand. There you go. There's a storage door from the outside. You can access that. Notice the hydraulic struts holding this up. It is a very nice feature as well as the actual mattress. Uh, two things a lot of companies do to cut cost. No struts, which is very annoying when you're trying to access that. And number two, they put a little thin, basically a bunk mat instead of a mattress. That's cheap. Can't stand it. It's not practical. Also, because of this bed slide, this opens up this front to actually be used as storage. So there's four of these cabinet doors and you can see uh, there's a shelf above, closet rod below, and then of course a ton of storage below. It's deep, it goes into that front cap. Um, it's an awesome, awesome amount of storage there as in form of a traditional closet. And to the left of that, this is a washer dryer prep closet. Uh, most customers, you know, obviously that are weekend warriors or something of that nature aren't necessarily using that. But we like this for two reasons. Number one, if you need it, it's there. And number two, that just gives you an idea of how big this is. This is a very big closet. Uh, you can put a stackable washer and dryer in here. If you don't want to use that, not a big deal. Uh, put your own storage in here. Use it as a, I don't know, for a vacuum cleaner, larger items, extra table and chairs, hang clothes in here, whatever you want to do. It just gives you options. Um, again, it is accessible from the front, kind of like below that bed. So you can't access it from the outside. Now, from the corner here, I'm going to turn, give you one more look at this. Again, notice all the space in here. Very, very spacious. At the foot of the bed, there's a window. So, i got two windows in here. A little more, more storage, a little set of drawers there. TV hookup above on the wall and the, the hookups on the ceiling. So, nice, well-equipped master bedroom. Going back out. One small thing here. Notice, doors. We actually have doors, not curtains. The accordion-style fabric doors. Um, Puma not trying to cut corners, but trying to have more residential feel to it. So back in the hallway, here's our master bath. I've got a foot flush toilet here to the left. Nice shower, glass shower doors. I mean, actual tub surround or shower surround, if you want to call it that, on the sides, not just wood paneling. Uh, I've got a little shelving built in, shelving below. A, a skylight, again, another thing that some products leave out. We have a skylight here. Um, I like that for natural light. And if you're a taller person, that gives you a little extra headroom there. Uh, again, a, a seemingly small feature that really adds to the usability and, and just the functionality of the coach. So a uh, vent up there, again, more natural light. An actual medicine cabinet, not just a mirror on the wall. Though. So there is actually storage there. I've got a sink and storage below that as well. Good amount of floor space also. You can get in and out um, relatively easily. Change clothes, whatever you need to do. You've got plenty of space. All right, so coming back out, I'm going to turn... Now we're looking back at the rear of the unit. So our second slide is visible here to our right. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna look at the entertainment center first. So we got a couple things to look at. Starting at the bottom, a little nook down there. It's nice for shoes, pet bowls, things of that nature. Um, fireplace above that. Nice for a, a chill chaser. Sound bar, a little storage there. And then our TV. The TV does pull out. You can change the angle of it if you choose to. It's an angled wall though, accent walls. You can see the nice thing about that is it's a nice angle um, to our theater seats here where I can watch TV. So this is an option. We've got theater seats option into this. I do recline. As you can see, there's a little 
I call it a parachute style uh, cord you pull there and it, it reclines back. Both of those do that. Cup holder thing in the middle. If you want to remove it, you could, but it's got a cup holder there in the center and on the sides. Notice all the windows in here. Several big windows. Uh, they are tinted, however, so we do like that for privacy and for uh, heat reduction. On the windows themselves, uh, we do have roller shades that are kind of, I guess like you call them blackout. You know, they're really dark, uh, prevent light from coming in. Uh, we like that feature, especially versus blinds. I, I do not like metal blinds. Um, this is a, a nice feature. They're slow rise, as you can see. Again, a nice feature Puma trying to incorporate into this. Our booth. So the booth does make a bed if you need it to make a bed. Uh, below the booth, you can see there are cabinet doors for storage. Again, a small thing. Uh, sometimes you have to lift that cushion up to get below that. That is very inconvenient. Puma simply adds a door there to make it easy on you. So we like that. One more thing about this slide. Notice, this is a flush floor slide. What I mean by that is there's not a big rise here. Uh, sometimes you'll see products that have like a three or four inch rise. Again, very frustrating. It's a trip hazard. It's just, in general, it's annoying. Uh, we do not like that. That's a flush floor slide. Also notice the depth of this slide. It's a full depth slide. It's not a short short depth, not a shallow slide. Also notice the height. It goes about as high as they can go. They have to have some room, obviously, for a header above. So this is a quality slide. Um, not trying to cut corners with this. Trying to be, again, heavy duty, well-built, long-lasting style product. Turning back to our kitchen. So a couple things in the kitchen to look at regarding the countertop. I got a glass top stove cover and you have sink covers. So together, if you're not using either one of those items, you've got a nice big surface here to serve and prep food. A beautiful cabinetry, several drawers and, and cabinet doors below, stainless steel appliances. Uh, I've got sink, with, uh, excuse me, an oven with some accent lights, an oven light actually built into that as well. Sparker for the oven and the stove top. It's a three burner stove top, not just a two. Got a knife holder back here, an actual backsplash behind, a residential style pull-out faucet. As you can see, I mean, the features keep adding up. It's, it's a product where Puma is a product that's not trying to see how little they can put in the product. They're trying to add in products, add in features to the product for you. More storage over here. I do like this. You can get to it uh, right here conveniently from the door. You don't have to go all the way through the camper. Now, more storage above. A little glass inserts built into that. Stainless steel microwave. Our refrigerator. All right, so this is a been used now for a while in Puma. Um, if you've looked at these videos, you, you've noticed this. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. So there are three types of refrigerators. Uh, for the sake of brevity, I will not go into all those, but you can gas electric, uh, 110 volt. This is 12 volt. So this operates off of a 12 volt battery, option one. Option two is off your truck. Option three is off the power converter like we are right now. So a nice option here. That, here's the thing about this. Because it's 12 volt, again, it's easy to run. And second, it's got the profile of the old gas electrics that were only six to eight cubic feet, but it's got the storage of a residential. So about 11 cubic feet, uh, a great compromise here. We have loved this refrigerator. Another good idea by Puma. All right, going back to the back. On the right, kind of miscellaneous storage. A uh, brochure might call it a pantry or a linen closet. I'm not sure, but you're just trying to use space well. Just giving you more storage there for whatever you want to do. To the left, our half bath. So we got a bathroom back here. A couple of things about this bathroom. Notice, for one, I got a door to the outside. We like that because if you're outside and you don't want to go through you know, the, the main por portion of the camper, you can come right in here and use the bathroom, clean up, and not get everything else dirty. So that's convenient. You've got a foot flush toilet. You've got a sink with storage below, medicine cabinet with storage built into it as well. Another thing about this we like is it's back here near the bunk room, so the kids have their own bathroom. Again, at night, maybe not having to go through the whole camper, uh, make quite as much noise. So going back to the back, to the bunk room. Again, notice an actual door, not just a curtain. Our third slide is here in the bunk room. So a huge room as a result of this. I call this a bunk room. Really, it's, it's a multi-use room. That top bunk lifts up, as you can see, and you got this little jackknife sofa below. And because of that, again, I call this a multi-use room. A couple things you can do with it. You can make it a, a true bunk room. You can make it a second living room. Uh, you can make it a card room, another dining room, whatever you need. If it's raining, you need more space for adults, you've got it. So we like that because of the, the flexibility of this room. Again, it's a jackknife sofa. It does make a bed if you need it. This bed above uh, comes down if you need that. And across from that, we've got two more bunks. Notice these are nice, nice size bunks. Nice bunk mats as well. USB ports all over the place. TV hookup back here if you need it. Um, accent wall in the back. Several windows in this unit. 
in this room, excuse me. And then a second air. So we got one air here and the second air in the living room. So two air conditioners on this unit. Uh, that is a nice option. Maybe you don't need two airs, but nice to have a backup. Or if you're in the south or areas where it gets hot, you probably do need two air conditioners at times of the year. So again, that's flexibility. You don't have to have a second air, but it sure is nice when you need it. All right, so that's the interior of the unit. The last thing before we go out on the right here is our control panel. Uh, just you got your tanks, obviously lights, slides, awning, all that. Nice, neat, and organized right here. All right, so on the outside. Starting up here at the front. Again, this is that storage below the bed. We looked at when you lift the bed up, you can see that. As far as the awning coverage goes, it is great. It covers a massive portion of this side of the unit. It does have an LED light strip in it as well. Two outside speakers. Black tank flushes for both toilets. Solid steps at the main steps. Extended season package. We'd have an enclosed underbelly as well as several other options. Six gallon gas and electric water heater. So dual operation water heater. Outside TV hookup here. Outside TV bracket. Again, there's our second black tank flush right there. Got the mini outside kitchen on this. So I've got a refrigerator, a sink with hot and cold water, storage below, and a cooktop griddle. All that does slide back in here if you want. Let me unlock it. You can see that slide back. Simple as that. So a nice outside kitchen there. All electric stabilizing jacks. So four stab jacks that are electric and an electric tongue jack. Notice the windows. Again, that dark tint. A ladder already on the back. That is, again, a seemingly small feature that is awesome to have when you need it. Easy to get on the roof, easy to check uh, slides or anything else you need. You don't have to take a ladder with you. So a nice, nice feature there, Puma adding in. TV hookups back here. Fifty amp service. On this side of the unit, we got an outside shower. Our city water hookup. There's some more termination points. Here's that storage that's accessible from the outside in that washer dryer closet. The lower portion of the front cap acts as a rock guard. It's got that diamond plate on it. An electric tongue jack as well. So the 2021 32 BHQS Puma Palomino travel trailer triple slide bunkhouse it's a bath and a half with a true bed slide big fridge all electric jacks two air conditioners washer dry prep outside kitchen and a great amount of storage that's here at arrowhead camper sales in mayfield kentucky